Hey everybody, it's your girl Lauren the DMV Wine Goddess from Love Story Mobile Winery back with a brand new wine release. So grab your wine glasses, come on and kiki with me and let's talk all things wine. So today's wine um, that we are actually going to be reviewing and tasting today is one of my favorites. I promise you this wine is always in rotation um, and it is just one of the most beautiful wines that I've ever tasted. This is actually one of my top five wines that I have with my business. And what wine is this? This is our Joy Cellars Jubilant Candy Cane Edition 2020 bottle of red wine. Yes, I understand you heard Candy Cane Edition. This was actually released last year and during the holiday season. But stick with me because we're going right back into the fall and holiday season soon. Let's just talk about it. I promise you this is something that you're definitely going to love. So the Joy Cellars Jubilant Red Wine is from the Joy Cellars Collection. You all know this is our holiday collection that we all you know, usually have out. Um, around the holiday season, we start promoting it around October to November. Um, the Joy's uh, Cellars release. But this wine, I promise you, this is one of the best wines I've ever had. Um, the it, it was created, well, it was released um, last year in October um, during, the, uh, uh, well, during the holiday season or the beginning of the holiday season. Um, this is a California red wine. This is a red blend. Um, it, the year that it was released was 2020. This is just a, an amazing bottle of wine. This is, it has Petite Syrah, Cabernet Franc, Pinot Noir, and also uh, Cabernet Sauvignon as well. It's just an amazing blend, young wine, but this is, when I tell you all, it is so smooth and so silky and divine, but also full body. Oh, you're going to love it. So, this wine is 13.8% alcohol. The appellation is Lodi. Um, you will serve this room temperature. This is a really, really, really great wine. As you all can see, the color of the wine is like a eggplant color. Um, it's deeper than a ruby red, um, but it's a it, it's actually past red. It is a purplish color um, to the eyes. This is a clear bottle of wine because you all remember we talk about when we talk about the essence of the wine. Uh, we talk about the clarity of the wine. The clarity of the wine it means it is a great bottle. Okay, so we're going to swirl this. Okay. I'm going to smell. Okay. So the first time you smell it, you smell black licorice. You're going to smell plums. You're going to smell berries. You're going to smell black currants. You're going to smell like blackberries, raspberries. Um, you're going to smell pepper. You're going to smell um, t tobacco. It has like a cigar smell, also a leather smell to it as well. Um, but the pepper, it kicks in like right away. It's like it, it, it does a little tickle in the nose, okay? Now, let's go to the best part. Let's go to what it tastes. Okay, let me just give you an honest opinion about this wine. This is simply divine. Like I said, this is one of my top five favorites. Um, it has a plum taste to it. It does have the peppery, um, uh, uh, you know, green peppers, black peppers. Um, it's like a, a velvety blueberry taste um, in your mouth. Um. It also has like a mushroom taste in the back. It has it has a, a meaty meaty mushroom uh, mushroom s taste in the back, but it is simply divine. Let me tell you all something. This is like what Pinot and Cabernet Franc have a baby. Um, this will please everyone's palate. It is not too harsh. 
but it's full body and it's just right on time it's right on the money um it's very velvety it's very smooth it's very beginner friendly um but it just it, it has the lasting mellow taste it, it to be honest if you all are um menage a trois um uh, lovers uh, you would definitely love this line if i would compare this to the menage a trois red blend um it is it, it goes sublime it, 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 it's 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 very i want to just say this is a very grown and sexy very 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 grown and sexy very full body very Salsa Menengue, Date Night Hot Tamale Lava. All the good, good grown and sexy. This is every bit of grown and sexy. Now, for the fashions, you always know. We talk about the fashion of the wine. Um, this today, you know, today is actually the beginning of Fashion Week. And um, I would want to say, I, I would compare this to the, to the 2020, uh, 20, 2022 fall um Dior Jewel boot. That boot is everything. It's out of this world. It is the it boot. This is the compared to that. All of the Swarovski crystals, um, the diamonds, the rhinestones. Oh, it's just all of that is in this bottle. Okay. Or um, and those are the mid cast. Like I said, those have just been released. I'm trying to get my eyes. On, well, I have my eye, but I'm trying to get it in my hand. Um, or also the um, I believe it is the Versace, or it might be the uh, the other Dior, um, uh, thigh high rhinestone sheer boot. Um, uh, who also did it well was Steve Madden. Steve Madden has um the dupes. So I will compare those to those boots and those um those fall boots. Um, this is very grown, very sexy, very also oh, delectable. Um, and I will give this a twenty out of eight. Uh, well, ten out of well ten out of twenty. Yeah, twenty. This is it. This is perfect. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope you all had an amazing time. If you all have any questions, I'm gonna be uh, well listing this down in the comment below. But. Uh, but join me next time while we talk all things wine. Bye-bye.